In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how to make a collage of images in Affinity Photo. You can start with a group of images like this and put them into an arrangement like this. I'm here in Affinity Photo and I'll start by creating a new file. I'll say File, New, and I'll make this 3000 by 2000 pixels. You can make it a size that works best for you. I'll click Create. Now there are a couple ways we can go about this project, but one thing I like to do is create shapes that will contain my images. On my toolbar here, I have the shape to create a rectangle. You might see a different shape there. If so, click the white arrow and then you'll get a longer list here. By default, it might be rounded rectangle, but I'll select rectangle. If you want your rectangles to easily snap to the corner, you can click the magnet here and they'll snap into place. And now I'm gonna click and drag the areas where I want my images to be. Let me drag a rectangle over here. Now it's very hard to see because it's white on white. I'm gonna give it a different color here. And you can resize it to the appropriate position. So I have this one snap to the middle. I'll move it up a little bit. I can see these lines are telling me it's snapping. I'll draw another rectangle. I'll make this one blue. Let's put it over here. Let's make two more. Let's make a green one. These are just temporary colors. They're helping us see where we're putting things. Let's make purple. And let's say you want to have a circular area in the middle. So I'll click the ellipse tool here. I'll draw a circle. I'm holding shift so that it's a perfect circle as I drag it. And with the move tool selected, this black arrow, I can have it snap into the center here. So these show the positions where I want my images to be. And we can easily change it later if we want. Now I'm going to place my images in my document. I'll go to File, Place, and I have these images on my computer that I like. I'll select this one, that one. I'm holding Control to select multiple images. So I've selected five I want, and I'll click Open. Now to place them on my canvas, I can either just click, and that will put them in their original size, or I can click and drag, and they'll be my chosen size. So I'll just click and drag. We can resize these again later if we want. And I'll close this panel here on the left. I'll click the three lines and I'll click close. Now what I'll do is I'll select my images. Now I'll just position them off to the corner here. Now I can place the images inside the shapes here. Let me show you how to do that. So I want this hat to be in the top left. Now the top left is the red rectangle here. Here in my layer stack, I'm gonna click that image. I'm gonna drag it and I'm going to let go over the name rectangle. So I'll let go. Now if I expand my rectangle by clicking this arrow, my image is inside of it. Now that may not look too different right now, but with my image selected, if I resize it, you can see it's bounded by the area of that rectangle. So the rectangle is acting like a frame. I can move the image into position. I can resize it. And that's our top left part of the collage. Let's go for top right now. I'll drag this picture of the woman over here. I'll turn off snapping. I don't really need it anymore. I'll resize it. Then I'll click the image on my layer stack and I'll drag it over the word rectangle. Now make sure you drag it over the word rectangle. If you drag it over the image of the rectangle, that does something else. That creates a mask. Now that can be a good thing sometimes, but it's not what we want to do here. So if you accidentally do that, press Control Z to undo and just drag the image again and let go over the rectangle. I'll double click on the name rectangle here. I'll call it top right. And once again, if we select the image inside the rectangle, we can move it around in different ways. Let's do the circle now and let's put that sunset in there. Now, technically, I don't have to drag the image over the ellipse when I first do it. So let me show you how that works now. I'll drag my image here. I'll let go on the ellipse. And you can see my image is invisible now because it's outside the bounds of the shape. What I can do is I can expand the ellipse. And with the image selected, I can drag. And then you'll see it start to appear there. So let me resize it. Make sure the sunset is nice in the center. And we have that there. Let's put the watermelon in the bottom left. So once again, I'll just move it over to the green for convenience. I'll click and I'll let go. Drag it into the green rectangle, let go. Now let's say I want to rotate this image here. I can do that just like I can with any image. Even though it's inside this green rectangle, I can rotate it. I can resize it. Maybe I want it to be facing this way here like that. I think that looks pretty good. And let's finally do this bottom right image. I'll drag it over the rectangle, resize, and about there is good. Now I want to add a border to all these shapes. So I can select all of them at once. I'll click the ellipse. I'll hold shift and I'll click the bottom one. That selects all of them. Then I can click the FX button here, layer effects. And now I'll select the outline box. Make sure to check it. Choose the color you want for your outline. I'll make it white. And then increase the radius. So I'll increase it here. And there we go. We can add our border and click close. Now something I recommend doing just to be safe is to remove the fill color from all your shapes. So I'll hold shift and I'll select all my shapes. Make sure your fill color is selected here. Then click the white circle with the red line through it. It's not always important, but sometimes some effects will have the color bleed in on the edges there. So I like to get rid of it just to be safe. So here we have our image collage. 
And we can actually move things around. I can move the circle around if I like. I could resize the squares if I wanted. And I could even add in new shapes. Let me know if there's any other quick tips you'd like to see for Affinity Photo. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.